Hello, in this screencast, let us see how to create a database with SAP installed in your system. So I shall first open the XAMPP control panel. This is the XAMPP control panel. Here I click on start for both Apache and MySQL. You will be seeing the status here. Once you start, click on admin. When you click on admin, PHP My Admin opens up. Here we have to create a database. How to create a database? Look at the databases tab here. Click on the databases tab. To create a new database, type a name here. My demo DB. This is the name of my database. And then click create. Now you can create any number of tables in the database. So start with, I am creating my first table, which is called profile. Name of the table, profile. Number of columns is, let me have three columns. Any number of columns you can type in and then click go. As I typed three columns, here the structure for three columns have to be entered. Now, the first column, the name of the column is register number. As we all know, a register number can have either integer or var char. I would like to have it as variable character. Now, the length is 10. Again, the next one is name. I would like to have it as var char. The length 100. Here, let me name it as city. Here again, I should have var char and 100 characters length. Once I have given all these basic details, I click on save. Once you save, the table gets created. After creating the table structure, let us view the table structure. This is the table structure view. Here, I would like to have register number as a index. So, click on more and look at index. So, I have, I want this to be converted into index. Look at the primary key symbol here. Now, I would like to auto generate these numbers. So, to auto increment these numbers, give a tick mark here and click on save. So, auto increment cannot be applied for var char type. So, let me change the var char type to integer and save it. Now, the profile is altered. Okay, now the var char has been converted to int and now the auto increment should work. Now let us add data to the table. How to add data to the table? Let us try to do it with SQL. As we all know, here we have an SQL query. For insert, click on insert. Now you need to provide the values here. Let me provide some values. Name. Sorry, the first one is a register number. The first register number, I am giving it as 1. And after that, I give name. The last column is a city. So, the city is, let me call it Madurai. Now, I have entered the values for register number, name and city. Now click on go. One row is inserted. Show query box again. Now I would like to auto increment register numbers and so I remove the register number value. 
now onwards i will only provide the names and cities so let us give some more names go i am giving more names now uh instead of getting into this you can directly insert from here also as i have done from sql let me try to now retrieve all the values and show it here so select star from profile where one so uh, it will retrieve all the rows from your profile click go and now you can see there are three fields the field is not auto incremented let me go and check it now let us look at the data now look at this the register numbers are auto incremented so we have successfully created a database called demo db and inside that my demo db we have created a table called profile inside the database my demo db we have created a table called profile and for that table we had three columns the first column register number is set as the index and uh, we have also inserted some values to these columns if you would like to add more tables then click on this new and then you can add more tables you need to add a different database then go to this new and then you can go ahead so this interface is really very user friendly and you can try using it thank you